Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is the another scenario based Power BI interview questions that has been asked by the TCS interviewer during the recruitment process of Power BI developer for entry level job. Okay, so here you can see this is the first scenario based questions and the question is suppose you have a table called as the customer and inside this customer table you have two columns like customer ID and name column okay and out of these two column we want to count the total numbers of customer in that particular customer table so how can we do that so for that you have to use the count rows dex function okay and this dex functions take the argument as the table okay and here the table name is customer so we can write the dex functions like count row and inside this bracket you have to pass the table name that is customer okay and it will return the total count of the rows in the customer table it means it will indicating the number of customer okay total number of rows is equal to total number of customers in this customer table okay so in this way we can find out the total number of customer in that customer table okay so this is the first question and the next question is suppose you have a table called as the sales okay and inside this sales table we have two columns that is product id and the region all right and you want to count the number of distinct products sold in each region this is the requirement got it so for that you have to use the distinct count dex function all right and remember distinct count dex functions take the argument as the column name got it so here as per the questions we have to find out the total number of distinct product right so we can give the argument as a product id by the help of which we can easily find out the total number of distinct product correct and here you can see this is a distinct count dex function and inside this bracket we have given the column name as the product id of the sales table okay and it will give the result as the total number of distinct product it means it will return the count of unique value in the product id column and give the number of different products that has been sold in the specific region got it then the next question is suppose you have a table called as the product and inside this product table we have two columns that is product id and description okay and out of these two columns you want to count the number of products that have no description specified so how can you do that for that you have to use the dex functions called as the count blank and remember this count blank dex functions returns the count of blank value in the descriptions column okay and it give the number of product without descriptions all right so for that we have to use the dex functions that is count blank and inside this bracket we have to pass the column name as the description column of the product table okay then the next question is suppose we have a table called as the order and inside this order table it contains two columns that is order id and customer id and based on these two columns we want to count the number of order placed by the customer okay so how can you get that for that you have to use the count dex function and count dex functions return the number of non-blank values in the order id column including the number of order placed all right so to get the result you have to use the count dex functions and inside the bracket we have to pass the column name as order id column of the orders table okay and then it will give the result as the count of number of the order placed by the customers okay okay so these are the four scenario based power bi interview questions that has been asked by the tcs interviewer during the recruitment process of power bi developer for entry level people got it so thanks for watching take care bye bye